Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. This is Maraj Kamran and you are watching Explore Chemistry. Today we are going to perform Chemistry Lab. Yes, a practical related to SSC board and O levels. This practical is actually identification of halide ions. So today I'll tell you how you can identify halogens or halide ions in Chemistry Lab. First of all, let me tell you what are a halogens. These are group 7a elements here you can see the position of this group in periodic table they are known as halogens and the word halogen means is salt former because they can form salt some examples of their salts are potassium fluoride sodium chloride magnesium bromide and calcium iodide etc here you can see in every salt there is one halogen present most common halogens are flu uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. If you have to identify halide ions in any inorganic salt, you can perform two different tests. Test 1 is done by magnesium dioxide and sulfuric acid. Here you have to take unknown salt. You don't know which halogen is present in it. It can be chloride, bromide or iodide. Fluorine cannot give or fluoride ion cannot give any result in this test. So, take that unknown salt in a test tube. Add water, distilled water in this salt to make a salt solution. Then you have to add magnesium dioxide powder about one spatula. This is a black colored powder. Then in this mixture you have to add concentrated sulfuric acid about 2 to 3 drops. Then you have to heat this mixture. What you have done these substances salt, water, magnesium dioxide and sulfuric acid will combine together due to heat and they will produce halogens in the form of gas. These will be the products sodium sulfate, magnesium uh, sulfate, water and halogen in the form of gas. So from here you can recognize the halogen with the color of fumes of gas like chlorine will be colorless. It will not give you any color. A gas will release without any color but it will release with pungent smell so with the help of colorless gas and pungent smell you can recognize that this one is chlorine or the salt contain, uh, contains chloride ion if brown colored gas will release it means it is bromine that salt contains bromide ion if violet colored or purple colored gas release it means that salt contain iodide ion another test is used a very, a very common test used for the detection of halide ion is silver nitrate test in this test you will take unknown halide salt in a test tube you will add water in it to make the solution then in this water solution you must have to add silver nitrate solution which is prepared in concentrated nitric acid. After adding silver nitrate, some colored precipitates will form of silver halide. If white colored precipitates will form, it means that unknown salt contain chloride. If cream creamish yellow or dirty yellow colored precipitates form, it means this uh, salt contains bromide ion. If deep yellow precipitates will form, it means this salt, unknown salt, contain iodide ion. You can see the effect of ammonia solution in these precipitates. If you will add few ml of ammonium hydroxide or ammonia solution in these precipitates, white colored precipitates which was of Silver chloride will become soluble, completely soluble in ammonia solution. Partially soluble will be uh, silver bromide precipitates which was cream yellow precipitates and silver iodide precipitates will remain insoluble which was the deep yellow precipitates. 
Now I'll show you how you can perform these two tests for the detection of halide in chemistry lab. First of all, in exams also or in chemistry lab, a salt can be given to you. That salt will be unknown. All halide salts are white in color, so you cannot recognize or identify it through their salt. You have to make the solution of these salts using distilled water. So add few ml of distilled water in a test tube and add that unknown given salt in that distilled water to make the solution. Now you have made the solution of this halide salt. You have to perform two tests. So I have distributed the solution in two test tubes to perform two different tests. First we are going to perform sulfuric acid and magnesium dioxide test. For that I will add one spatula of magnesium dioxide. You can see here it is black colored powder. One spatula I have added in this salt solution and then I have added few drops of sulfuric acid with the help of dropper because this is concentrated sulfuric acid. So you must hold your test tube in a test tube holder. Do not keep your test tube in your hands. Now you have to add this reaction mixture with the help of burner. On heating this mixture you can see the change in color of the fumes which will form. Here you cannot see any color of the fumes so it can be chloride. But if you will perform this practical in the lab you will see uh, you will can smell a pungent smell of chlorine gas. This is colorless gas with pungent smell so it can be chlorine. Now we will perform second test that is silver nitrate test with the same salt. For that I will use the remaining salt solution. In this salt solution I will add silver nitrate solution. Few drops of silver nitrate as I will add you can see the change in color. Immediately the transparent solution will convert into white colored turbid solution because of the formation of white colored precipitates of silver chloride. So this will, this, through this you can recognize that that salt contain chloride ion. Now if you will add ammonia solution in this chloride ion, uh, chloride precipitates or silver chloride precipitates, it will become completely soluble in ammonia solution. <coughs> so that first salt was containing chloride ion. Now I will show you some other halide salts and the same test with other halide salts. You can see I have taken some amount, a small amount of this salt in a test tube. I have added distilled water in it. And now I'll add magnesium dioxide one spatula. With the help of spatula, I have added magnesium dioxide in this salt solution. Now with the help of dropper, I'm adding few drops of sulfuric acid in this solution. Now I have to heat this solution. And then I'll observe the colors or color of fumes which will release from this mixture. Yes, brown colored fumes are releasing. The walls of the test tubes have test tube has become brown. Here you can see this reaction is releasing a brown colored gas. So it can be bromine. For confirming, we will perform another test of silver nitrate. In a salt solution, I have added silver nitrate solution. Here you can see dirty white precipitates or clean precipitates are forming. 
Now I'll add ammonia solution, ammonium hydroxide solution. So these precipitates have become partially soluble. Some have settled down at the bottom of the test tube. Now I'll do the same two tests with another salt, another unknown halide salt. I have taken few amount of this salt in a test tube. I have added distilled water in this salt to make the solution. Now I'll perform the first test with manganese dioxide and sulfuric acid. I have to add one spatula of manganese dioxide in this salt solution and few drops of sulfuric acid in this salt solution. Now heat this reaction mixture and observe the color of gas which will release from this reaction mixture. This color is very much visible on the walls of test tube. You can see here walls of test tubes have become violet in color or purple in color. It could be uh, any iodide salt. For confirming either this is iodide salt or not, we will perform silver nitrate test. In a salt solution, I have to add few drops of silver nitrate. As I'll add silver nitrate, immediately yellow precipitates are forming. If I'll add ammonia solution in the, these yellow precipitates, it will remain insoluble. So, it means that third salt was containing iodide radical. So, in this way we have performed or we can detect any halide in left through these two tests. Here you can see the final result of first test. This is chlorine, this is bromine and this is iodine. You can see the change in color. Chlorine is colorless, bromine is brown in color and iodine is violet in color. Now check the test of silver nitrate. Second test. You can see the Color of precipitates also here. Now you can see here these are iodide precipitates completely insoluble. These are bromide precipitates partially soluble. And these are chloride precipitates completely soluble in ammonia solution. So this was all about identification of halide ions. If you have understood everything and enjoyed with me, please like this video and share with your friends and subscribe my channel also. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.